Justin Moore has a lot to be proud of right now, with the latest being another number one for his hit, Till My Last Day, and two gold albums. We had a chance to catch up with Justin and co-writers Jeremy Stover and Brian Mayer at a party to celebrate the success of Till My Last Day. This is what our city does best. This is what our industry does best. We develop talent and we give it the chance to grow. We give it a chance to breathe. We give it a chance to rock and we give it a chance to roll. And that's what Justin Moore is doing. I'm here with Justin Moore celebrating your third number one off of this album. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, I tell you what, it's, it's kind of mind boggling. I seem to think that way every time we get to, to be in this position, but uh, you never take them for granted. You never know if you're ever going to get back to this point, and, and thankfully we have a, a few times, and uh, it's really, really exciting. I can't thank uh, Country Radio enough for, for playing them for us and, and all the fans enough for, for all the support. Now, this was your first love song till my last day, and you wrote this. Talk a little bit about having a ballad, love song. Was this something different for you? I think so, yeah. My, my wife, I have to give all the credit to. She's the one that, that heard, heard it, and she goes, why don't you put this out as your next single? And I'm going, I don't know if I can pull this off. And um, you know, But it's not a, a sappy type love song. It was one of those that I felt like I could, I could do, but I never knew if I wanted it to be a single. And, and uh, thanks to her and my record label kind of pushing me along, we put it out. And you know, I, I'm fortunate that Country Radio allowed us to veer off in that direction, and uh, the fans went with us. So it's it's been a big record, and it's been it's been a lot more successful than what I ever antis anticipated it being. Till my last day. I'm here with the co-writers, Mr. Brian Mayer and Jeremy Stover. Congratulations, you guys, celebrating you today so with Justin. Thank you so much. This is awesome. So talk about the day you guys got together and got in the room, because a love song for Justin, this is something a little bit different, a ballad, you sort of went somewhere else. Who had the idea? You know what, I don't really remember who had the title. We wrote it down in my house south of Nashville um, in our living room down there. and. We just had a great time, and, and I think the melody happened pretty quickly, and it took a couple of hours on the lyrics, and of course Justin sang it in the end, and the rest is history. And that's a good day. Perfect day. Uh, you know, it was one of those songs where it was a little bit different than what Justin normally does. But uh, I just I knew that it had Look some. Look who's here! <laughs> <laughs> I knew that uh, that. Uh, it was, you know, a little bit different, but it had some kind of something that was catchy to it. So uh, we ended up ringing it out, and uh, now it's number one. So, I mean, nice. I'm happy. Yeah, it's great. Now, this is a happy day. Now, you two have written lots of hits together. You also wrote Small Town USA together. Yeah. With Was Justin in on that as well? Yes. That was, that was actually the second song that we ever wrote with Justin. And it was, from what I remember, it was the end of 2003 when we wrote Small Town USA, and it was number one in 2009. Yep. So I think that just goes to show, you know, the life of a song and how a song that you write, you know, years ago can, can still be a hit. All the way up till they lay me down Six feet under the cold hard ground To my last day I know you're about to headline your first tour starting, like, next week. Outlaws, what's the name of the tour? Outlaws Like Me. We just uh, uh, just kicking it off this week in Pikeville, Kentucky. We're we're excited. It's uh, it's exciting and scary at the same time. You know, we've we've had the the comfort of uh, of knowing that if anything went wrong on any of the other tours we were on, then we just blame it on the headliners. The headliner. so, uh -oh. um, but no, it's you know all the all the ticket sales have been great and, and um, you know we're excited to have Dustin Lynch out with us who's uh, I've got to know over the years pretty well and he's having a great deal of success in his own right and um, John Party which we're excited I'm, I'm I'm a big fan of his music I haven't had the opportunity to meet him so I look forward to getting to know those guys and uh, it's it's a really exciting way for us to kick off the year with a new single coming out Point at You off of a brand new album that'll be out in the summer and um, you know celebrating Two the, gold the, albums. These accomplishments and then uh, kicking off the tour. There's a lot going on, but it's it's really, really exciting. There is a lot going on because I just interrupted you there with two gold albums you're celebrating today. That's 
Awesome. Yeah, you know what, I think I'm probably uh, as proud or more proud about that right there than, than any hit record we've had because that's, that's not not very, uh, uh, it, it doesn't go on a lot nowadays, especially with somebody on their first or second album. Um, usually takes a while, and with the way record sales are these days, it's, it's really, really tough to get to that. And um, I'm very humbled that the fans have, have went out and bought both albums the way they have, and uh, really, really proud of, of that accomplishment. We still have lots more ahead here on Inside Music Row, so make sure you don't go away. We've got a hot new country rap and southern rock duo coming up. You won't want to miss it.